guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to use the free version of Silhouette Studio to set up uh, so that you can print to your F570, the 24 inch Epson sublimation printer. So here's the thing. The um, Epsons can print directly from Silhouette Studio on both a Mac and a PC. And Silhouette Studio gives you a lot of options as far as how to lay out and format um, your designs that you want to print to your, to your Epson 570. So this is a benefit because the Epson uh, Print Pro that comes with the machine is only uh, Windows compatible. So Silhouette Studio, the free software of Silhouette Studio will allow you to do a lot with your layout specifically um, to take full advantage of the 24 inch size and also make sure that you can nest and different things like that. So the first thing that you want to do is download Silhouette Studio from the Silhouette America website. It's a free download. You do not have to have a Silhouette cutting machine to use the software. So once you download the software, um, you're going to open it up and you are going to be in the design area. So this is a 12 by 12 work area right now. And this gray uh, border around is showing you the cutting mat. So obviously we're not going to use a virtual cutting mat um, when we are printing to our Epson. So you don't need to really worry about that. Um, however, what you do probably want to do is open up from the right sidebar, open up this top tool, which is the page setup. So from there, um, underneath where it says machine, you're going to just click none because we're not cutting with a machine. That will change cutting mat to none also. And then what you can do is you can adjust your media size. So in this case, um, we want to have our media size. I like to put my media size um, about 24 inches by 30 since I, you know, if you're going to use a banner roll um, when you're cutting, I mean, excuse me, when you're printing on the 570, you just want to um, have that uh, there. Now, this, as I said, is the free version of Silhouette Studio. So you don't get any rulers or anything like that. However, if you um, press G on your keyboard, oops you will get a grid. Each one of these um, gr you know, larger squares that you see is one inch. So there should be 24 going across. Now, if you want to see the rulers, then you do need to upgrade the software. And there are three different upgrades that you can purchase. They're all one time. Uh, purchases and the highest one is called business edition it's a $99 upgrade that you pay one time and it opens access to all the tools including um, automatic nesting including export as a PDF including export as an SVG um, including the rulers and different things like that so I'm intentionally showing you this tutorial on the free version so you can see what can be done without upgrading but just so you know there are more things that you can do so what we're going to do now is import our design. So you can go up to file open, or excuse me, you want to do file merge so that it opens in the exact work area where you are working and then you would navigate to your file. Or what I prefer to do is actually to just drag and drop my designs directly or images directly into the workspace. So I'm going to pull a couple of these um, PNGs that would be, these would be, um, you know, for tumblers. I'm going to bring them right into Silhouette Studio. So we'll just bring a couple of these in here and then we can arrange them. So you'll be able to see um, how we bring these in. Now you can also drag and drop. I'm literally just going to pull a couple in there um, so that you can see oops, there, what's going on exactly. And then we'll just duplicate from there. So these would be Tumblr. Uh, sublimation prints, whoops, merge, let's grab another one. Uh, which one do we know? <clears throat> okay, so right now we have three different um, files, obviously here. I'm gonna duplicate one of these, and then let's just uh, We'll do another one of these so you can kind of see. And I'm actually going to, let's pretend that these are going to be for coasters. I'm just going to size these down so you can kind of see how you can do this. Um, like a coaster would be like four by four usually. So we'll adjust that. I'm, again, this is just um, so you can see how the, the software works. Okay. So then we have, um, 
I'm gonna duplicate this a couple times. So you can do copy paste, you know, right click, copy paste, or you can um, use some of these other tools over here on the right hand side, there's a replicate tool. So this one, for example, um, you could tell it that you wanted to duplicate, you know, three directly next to each other or that you wanted to do a couple down. So you have some options there for um, kind of bulk, bulk um, editing. All right, so I'm just gonna give you a couple of options. Now, this is why layout is really nice because you can take full advantage of the full width. So if you don't have a software program that allows you to um, lay out your different prints, then you end up wasting some area, okay? So that's why it's really nice. And again, a lot of these software programs um, have a expense or a subscription to them. Silhouette Studio does not. Um, unless, like I said, you want the more um, advanced tools, but then it's a one-time fee um, of $99 for the highest one. They, the lower ones start at 50, and then I think the next one's 75. Okay, so let's just say now we're ready to send this to our F570. So we can send directly from Silhouette Studio and get the um, print manager for the Epson. So we just go to File, Print, okay? And then we are going to select our printer. So I have, let's see, my F570. F the Epson F570 is here, okay? And right in here, I have all of my settings. So I can do color matching, which when I print, um, I like to use color sync and then I select, let's just say we were doing this for coasters and tumblers. Um, so I would pick rigid and then I would go through paper handling, see if there's anything there that I need to um, adjust, which there is not. Cover page, we don't need print settings. Um, you're gonna wanna open. So again, we, ha we are going to use a roll of paper um, and our paper size is, duh, 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 we need to make sure we check that to be honest with you, okay? And then this down here is where we want um, the max quality. Well, that's what I want. If you wanna print you know, in a draft form, you can certainly do that for, you know, you can pick speed. Um, and then before I, do any of anything else. I'm going to go over here and pick show print border. This is really important. So we, the, the print border is gray. So what you can see is actually right here. Now, if this happens to you where this is what's happening, you, what we really need is this gray box around the entire um, basically perimeter of our design here because we don't just want this eight and a half and by 11 to print. So we actually need to go up to file, print page setup and make sure in Silhouette Studio that we have our Epson 570 selected and that we have the paper size as um, the rolls. Where did it go? Up here, excuse me. 24 by 30 and then we want our roll banner, okay? And we're gonna do, click that and we're gonna click okay. And now you see that gray border um, is all the way on the perimeter and actually it's further down. If I, if I adjust this a little bit to so like 32, you'll be able to see the bottom line of it too. See there? Okay. All right, so now this page is set up to print the full page and you wanna make sure that you do that so that it matches. All right, so now when I go to file print, like I said, we will print on here and you can go back through these printer settings. Okay, so now that output size says 24 by 30, which you wanna make sure if th that alerted me, it said eight and a half by 11, which is why I knew that I needed to go back into Silhouette Studio and change the page setup size, okay? And then you can go to advanced and if you want any um, changes, so I like to click save paper roll. When you click save paper roll, it will, um, the. Uh, at 570 will make a slice right underneath the uh, lowest image on your printed paper so you won't waste. So if you did a 24 by 30 is what the size is but you actually only printed 24 by 22, you won't waste those eight inches between the bottom um, of the lower lowest image and the bottom of the paper. It will uh, Put a, it will cut a line there with the rotary cutter, okay? And then we can click print, and this will print directly to our F570, okay? I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't need to print all these sublimation tumbler blanks, but 
just so you know, um, this will now begin printing. I'm not even near my 570, it's on the other side of the room, but because it is um, Wi-Fi connected, I don't need to even um, get up and connect my computer to my um, machine. Now, again, this is a really good way, if you are a Mac user specifically and cannot use Print um, Edge Pro that comes with um, the Epson 570, Silhouette Studio is a really great alternative.